Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to talk about the new popular Battle Royale game, and that is Realm Royale. And Realm Royale is a game made by Hi-Rez, the people that made Smite and Paladins, and also way back then, the Tribes game. Uh, and overall, it was originally going to be a game mode in Paladins, like a Battle Royale game mode with the different, you know, kind of champions and Paladins playing the Realm Royale, or, you know, the Battle Royale game. Uh, and I guess somewhere along the lines they decided they want it to be its own separate thing and have like five different, you know, kind of unique classes rather than the different people from Paladins. I'm not sure why. If I had to guess, I'm assuming they either wanted it to be a separate brand just so if this is popular, it's kind of separate from Paladins and also um, them trying to do the unique heroes might have been uh, kind of not very fun to balance because a lot of them are, um, you know, like how is the support going to be good in a Battle Royale game and stuff like that. Um, but but overall, I have played about three hours of this game, so I'm not like super, super, you know, a pro in this game, but I'm not like, you know, I, I know how the game plays, I know how it feels and stuff like that, and I wanted to give my general opinions on it because, like I've said before, uh, you know, I am getting tired of, you know, just the same old Battle Royale formula over and over and over, but I really am excited for any type of Battle Royale game that is unique because overall, I like the Battle Royale genre, I just haven't, you know, really found one that is the best battle royale I've ever played um, you know I really like the culling but that game kind of killed itself off <laughs> um, and uh, you know I have a lot of problems with a lot of battle royale games um, that have come out so I'm always interested in trying out new battle royale games especially um, like Realm Royale when it has apparently just blown up as of recording this video there's a hundred thousand concurrent players um, and I don't think anyone really expected this um, because uh, I expected it to just kind of go the way of, um, you know, the one that the people that made Lawbreakers made. I can't even remember what the game's called. That's how dead the game went. Um, but, you know, I, I wasn't expecting it to blow up, you know, because I played it about a couple days ago when it had like 18,000 concurrent players. But overall, my general kind of opinion on Realm Royale is I think it is a good game that has a lot of promise and it's very unique. It actually contributes and brings something new to the Battle Royale genre and that's why I think it's so popular because not only are hero shooters popular but Battle Royale games are, be are very popular and I think that's why Realm Royale is very popular because you have five different classes, you pick when they all have their different abilities and um, legendary weapons and stuff like that and how it works is you start with just your like knife and then a, a single ability of your classes that's always the same and you drop in like a normal Battle Royale game and you loot and there's chests and stuff and they can give you different rarities of weapons so there is different rarities. Um, so there could be like a normal revolver and you could just find the common revolver but then if you find like the rare revolver you can pick it up then the epic one it'll replace it and then you know goes on from there um and on top of that you can also disenchant anything you see for shards um and so say the armor you pick up isn't uh, is better than what you already had and it drops the old armor you might as well disenchant it you're not going to use it because you have four different armor slots so if you had uh you know just common boots and you find rare boots or whatever there's not really a reason to keep your your old boots so you just disenchant it it gives you shards and there's these forges all around the map that you can go to and you can um, there's like five different options you can do and you can each forge only do once per um, game of that forge so one of them gives you health potions one of them gives you armor potions but then one of them gives you a random legendary equipment one of them gives you a random legendary spell from your um, kind of class because obviously you can't you know equip you know abilities from other classes and then one will give you your legendary weapon and every single class has only one specific legendary weapon um, and there it's a pretty unique concept so you know the hunt the sniper kind of person has a sniper rifle um, the warrior has like throwing axes um, like the hunter ranger person has like a really awesome you know bow um, you know, and the mage is like a staff, and then I can't really remember what the engineer has at the time of making this video, but uh, it's it's really unique, um, and it's really fun, and it plays well, and in terms of optimization, it actually runs very well. I think it defaulted ultra everything, and I just kept it there while recording, um, because honestly, high-res games don't look the best. Um, it definitely has that high-res 
kind of art style graphics where, you know, they're not the best graphics. I mean, they're not terrible, but they're definitely, they're nothing to brag about. They get the job done, is all I'm trying to say. Um, but overall, it's good. There is a couple problems that I have with the game, though. Um, and obviously, the game came out literally five days ago as of recording this video, so for it already to be in this good of a place five days after launch and early access is amazing. I mean, you have PUBG, which, like, a year later, and it still runs like garbage. Uh, you know, you have Fortnite Battle Royale that um, runs amazing and perfectly and stuff like that. Um, and so Realm Royale is actually um, in a pretty good spot right now, um, considering it's only been out for five days in early access. But overall, um, some of the complaints I have with the game is I like the combat. You know, I overall like the feel of the combat for the most part and kind of stuff like that. But it seems like people kind of get maxed out too early. Um, and I understand if this game's trying to keep a very fast paced kind of game um, but the circle still is kind of slow and stuff like that so in the gameplay that I was recording um, in the two games that I was going to use as footage because I actually you know did decent um, I actually had to uh, like kind of cut out some of the parts I'm sure you'll see cut somewhere um, because there's times where I'm literally just waiting for about like three minutes um, like a normal battle royale game where I'm like okay well I'm in a good position I'm in the circle I'm just gonna wait and then I just wait for three minutes, and it's kind of boring. Um, so it definitely has a lot of that, which is one thing I never really had in Darwin Project. Um, that's one reason I really like Darwin Project, and I need to go back to that game. But um, it still has that. So it's trying to be faster paced, but it, it still has those type of waiting moments. But it seems like people kind of get maxed out too early, because once you get a uh, kill, you get like a chicken piece or whatever. Um, and I'm assuming that's a reference to, because anytime you die, you actually turn into a chicken and you have like, you, you can retreat and you're waving like a flag. And if you die when you're a chicken, you're dead. But if somehow you don't get killed, um, for 30 seconds while being a chicken, you revive back to like half health, which is a really interesting mechanic. I really like it because, you know, obviously if you get killed and someone's next to you, you're not going to survive. You're not going to be able to escape them. But if you get sniped halfway across the map, you probably have a chance to, um, revive, which is really interesting because, um, it can get away some of those frustrations of just being shot and instantly killed from across the map. Um, but going back to the, the thing, when you get a kill, you get like a chicken piece. And um, nothing requires that except for crafting your legendary weapon. So you have to kill at least one person before uh, crafting a legendary weapon. But once you do that, you already have one of your two weapon slots filled. And that's not going to change. Because the class-specific legendary weapons are what you want to use, pretty much. Um, and then for the other part, you know, you probably want to find whatever kind of weapon matches with you. So if you have throwing axes on the war, you might want a longer range weapon. Um, and so that might be like a rare or an epic, um, but that doesn't really matter too much. And in terms of your gear, because that's still common, then rare, then epic, and then, you know, legendary, for the most part, you kind of, like, a lot of the, my games kind of went, I just was constantly at max shards, so I would just keep going to different, like, you know, foundries or whatever they're called, the little blacksmith things, and then I would just craft a legendary armor and a legendary spell or whatever, and, you know, pretty soon in each game, I already had, like, two or three legendary armors and maybe, like, an epic for the other one or whatever, and then I'd have my legendary weapon and, like, an epic other weapon, and I'd have, like, already, like, amazing spells. And, like, so it seemed in each game there reached a point very early in the game that I was already maxed out and there wasn't really much for me to improve so it kind of is like okay well there's not really a point to looting this town that I'm going to go through I'm just gonna go straight from point A to point B and then you know try to just wait and camp there and it adds a lot more to that because if you max out early uh, you don't keep looting and that's something to do instead of just waiting so that's that um, another thing is I think every single weapon in the game, for the most part, does too much damage. Um, and this, it's kind of going into time to kill, um, because the time to kill is pretty low, but it, it's not really, because all of the weapons aren't really hit scan. they're not really, you know, a lot of the stuff is projectiles. So when you, like, fire your weapons or whatever like that, especially like the sniper rifle, like the legendary sniper rifle, it's a projectile that kind of takes a long time. It's a little hard to use because you have to lead the shots to a pretty drastic amount. But you're going to, everyone's kind of missing their shots a lot. There's a lot of missing shots. There's a lot of, like, dodging behind 
cover and stuff like that because it's a third person game and stuff like that so you're not hitting your shots always but when you do it just deals like 75 percent of their health or the sniper rifle has enough to just kill someone if they don't have any armor most of the time they'll have armor um but it does an insane amount of damage so everything does so much damage it's just at the level I was playing, and obviously, you know, I'm sure pro players, once this game has a scene, will be hitting a lot of their shots, and in that case, I think the time to kill is going to be even even too faster, <laughs> if that's a, that's a word, because overall, I think the guns do too much damage, uh, and the weapons, and the abilities, and stuff like that, um, but overall, right now, people are missing their shots a lot, and stuff like that, because I'm not a, a lot of the stuff is hit scan, um, so you're having to lead your shots, and stuff like that, but I feel like when people start hitting their shots, you die, like, instantly. Like, it's crazy. And I don't know if that's just me, you know, kind of not wanting the time to kill to be that high. Um, especially because in this game, when you have abilities and you have skills and you have these quirky guns, I think having the time to kill low could be better because it gives more opportunity for both players to use their abilities and, you know, kind of fully utilize what they have. And um, when you have a low time to kill, a lot of that stuff doesn't matter. Like, you might not even use a single ability because you just instantly got killed um, by a sniper shot and then a revolver shot or something like that. Um, so overall, I think everything really needs to be toned down a little bit. And then I think I they need to kind of lower the drop rate a little bit because every single house has like four chests in it that all drop like three different things. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons, you know, obviously it makes it satisfying, but you're going to get maxed out too soon. Um, but the overall, those are my only really big complaints. Um, you know, I kind of talked about them a lot, so it makes it seem like I hate this game. But overall, I really like this game. I just think that would improve it immensely. You know, there's a lot of things this game does. I really like the hero shooter class kind of mechanics in it. Um, I really like the chicken, you know, the kind of, like chance to get your life back mechanic i really like that overall the world and the map that it is is really unique you have like a frozen place you have like a high noon western place um you have a lot of different really unique distinguishable areas i really like that um i really like the gunplay for the most part um you know there's a lot of things i think this game does really well um and you know obviously they're going to pretty soon monetize with skins in the battle pass like fortnite's doing and i'm fine with that no loot boxes happy about that perfectly fine with battle passes um and you know so yeah so i would definitely recommend you to give it a shot um because as of right now it's still fun um and obviously uh you know they've already been talking about making a lot of changes and stuff like that um uh, i think they weren't expecting this game to blow up as much as it did uh <laughs> but yeah so i would highly recommend to you guys to go ahead and try out realm royale uh, and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it you know do you guys think it's just another fortnite knockoff or do you think it's actually going to be pretty unique and fun in itself and you know have you tried out the game or not because um, you know part of the fun of making these videos is not only talking at you guys but the conversation that comes afterwards um, but if you enjoyed this video then consider leaving a like down below and subscribing to see more videos new videos come out every Wednesday and Sunday and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and see you guys next time